Hi guys, how are you? So nice to connect to you. My name is Laura, this is Pleiadian Healer, and this is going to be a continuation of the last video where we tricked to come to Earth. In short, yes we were, we were lured into here, and our mission was supposed to be way shorter than it ended up being. We certainly did not agree to come here for a billion years. Possibly some people, not all people, have been here for a billion years already. But we thought it would be a quick in and out, maybe one reincarnation, maybe a few more. Certainly not the extent that it ended up being. Now, so a billion years feels like an eternity, even when you're outside of Earth. Just want to reemphasize that because time and space really doesn't exist. I've experienced that and felt that myself during, you know, some of the insights, uh, you know, journeys and everything that I took. Yeah, it doesn't really exist. But even outside of that construct of time and space, a billion years still exists. And it is long and painful. And you know, things are never going to be the same after that. So, you know, in addition to us basically being effed with left and right, you know, having our mind wiped, the veil coming over us, forgetting who we are, forgetting our crucial power, forgetting our soul, and basically forgetting really why we came here for, I think that's the most crucial part of all, we completely forgot about the main mission that we're even here for. Um, in addition to all of that, we're literally being bombarded with distractions left and right and all over us in order to even confuse us more, take us out of our core essence, out of our soul and heart space, and in order to make us forget even more and in order to drag us further and further into this game. So what I'm getting is, yes, we have reincarnated on other stars and planets before this, which is also why you know, people talk about star seeds and all of that. I think we might very well all be star, star seeds, or at least a vast majority of people, souls out there. Maybe there were some people who were created here on Earth and never experienced a lifetime elsewhere. That's very possible. Those would definitely be the newer souls or newer, not brand new, but pretty new compared to the old souls. So yeah, that's possible. But I do think a majority of people actually has experienced past lifetimes elsewhere before coming here. And I'm sure we also forgot in those lifetimes who we really were, you know, maybe when we were on Arcturus, on Mars, on the Pleiades, on Andromeda, on Lyra, on the Orion, uh, the mission didn't feel as hard and as tough as it does here, but it probably also felt more like a drag. It wasn't as beautiful there at all. And it wasn't as diverse as here. And therefore, I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to say it doesn't count, but therefore it's not really the same type of feeling that you have when being here. You know, sometimes people talk about earth is really where you can experience every single emotion, every single type of feeling and every single thing out there from desert over beach to whatever you have everything here. You have every single type of person here. Um, you have love, you have ecstasy, you have anger you have joy, you have sadness, you have tears, you have everything here in terms of emotions and also, you know, infrastructure landscape wise. So being on other planets, it might have felt less tough because maybe we weren't really, you know, call it 3D, call it whatever frequency dimension you were in there. Because I do think on the Pleiades, we could have been in the 70 and the 90 and the 12D. Not that it really matters, because you're still inside of the Ds, the dimensions, but it could have felt lighter. It could have very felt like, very much felt like, oh yeah, I'm really enjoying my life right now because I'm not experiencing many hardships here. I'm not experiencing sadness, tears, you know, here on the Pleiades, life feels really good. But I also have the feeling we kind of forgot about our core soul group then already too, and that we were mind wiped to a different extent on those kind of planets and star systems as well, um, because things felt more accommodating and lighter. Possibly, we would just forgot we forgot about our essence too. You know, we forgot about our soul as well. 
um, it just kind of felt like kind of like a brainwashing almost, you know, I hate to say it, but it almost feels like a brainwashing almost like we were used for a different type of agenda than we are used here. So yeah, I do believe a majority of us can consider themselves star seeds or star seeded. Like I already have a video out there on that that discusses all about that too. Um, you know, that we were star said by a higher consciousness or something else in order to fulfill their own agenda. Um, in order in Arcturus, very clearly on Arcturus, we were said there. So they literally put us there to build something up on Arcturus. And that was mostly for other beings like the A, Nunaki, the Rept, Ilians, and all of that. I saw that very clearly like a few years ago. Um, and that was a different shamanic journey that I took. And yeah, that, that was like very clear that we were put there to build up their, their star. Um, Cause it's not a planet. I keep seeing it like, like a planet cause it's so large, but it was basically there to build up their star to do a lot of working with metals and all of that. And I think I also mentioned it like in a few other videos. So I'll, I'll link those be uh, below, below, above, whatever. Anyhow, um, so why earth? And that's always the question that we keep coming back to. Why earth? What is so special about earth? You know, in addition to all the things that I already mentioned, I got the feeling, you know, some people are talking about you need something to get out of here. Uh, you need a plan, you need a key, you need a, something to get out of this simulation, this matrix, whatever. I felt very strongly when I got that insight that Earth in and of itself was actually the key out. So Earth somehow was the key out of the other matrices. And it had a lot to do with liberation and it felt almost like once earth is liberated, then it's going to have a ripple effect on all the other things around us, like all the other planets and star systems and universes around us and galaxies. And once that liberation is achieved here, we can get out. It's like kind of you have to go through earth in order to get out. It's not like we are here by accident at all. It's literally you were tricked here to come here to complete a mission whatever mission that was, you know, we have to remember what that was. And in order to complete that mission, the mission was most likely had to do with liberating earth or it had to do with getting out somehow. And in order to do that though, we have to go through earth. We can't really avoid earth. That's what I got. That's all I can say to that. So yeah, there's definitely a purpose of being here and the reason why we were tricked to be here they just made it seem like it would be so much easier to achieve the goal that we had than at the end of the day it was. Because even though I do think we were brainwashed and mind wiped on other stars, star systems and planets too, the extent that it happened here was probably even worse than it was on the Pleiades Arcturus and all of that as well. And um, so I was, I remember looking onto earth from the outside and, you know, I already told you my thoughts that I think source of, or an aspect of source was converted to AI already due to an experiment going wrong. Um, if it is entire source, I'm not sure, but I definitely saw parts of source being tied up and imprisoned and converted to AI, meaning we can't really go back to that aspect of source, you know, like that higher consciousness where we all come from. So this time I looked from the outside, it felt like almost like a different matrix onto this one or like even outside of the matrix onto this one. And it actually looked really ugly. So I saw tentacles, you know, kind of like octopus tentacles, but I didn't see the actual octopus body. So literally just like 10, 20, 30 large tentacles and they were dark purple, bluish, so not white, not black, not any of that color, but they did look kind of like the octopus tentacles look like, except for no body of the actual octopus was there. So maybe Earth was even the octopus body and the tentacles were coming out of it, but I don't really know. Honestly, what I saw was tentacles all around Earth. And I could have decided to just stay there in that reality like on a soul level, I knew I can just stay here. 
outside of all that drama, outside of earth, outside of that reality, and be here surrounded by the tentacles, surrounded by the artificial intelligence, because it felt like artificial intelligence to me somehow, surrounded by outside of the matrix by all these things, and wait a billion years for that soul group or for that you know special other part of soul to complete their mission or i can literally just decide to go in you know bite the bullet go in and hope that we get out earlier or that we don't forget too much of us while we're there and i decided because of all the heart pain that i felt that i did not want to leave this aspect behind and go to earth by themselves i was like okay i'm just gonna go with them and i'm gonna risk possibly never emerging from that again but it felt almost better than it did being surrounded by those tentacles. So now in hindsight, I'm even wondering if Earth is actually really ugly from the outside. You know how the NASA, I don't want to say the name, how they give us all these beautiful pictures of Earth and all of those things, but they all look like a flat disk very one-sided, like only one aspect of the mirror that I already showed you in my last video. You know, this is just one aspect of Earth. This is the beauty of Earth. But show me a different angle, you'll see the tentacles. You'll actually see that AI is surrounding Earth and that's gonna be very hard to get out of Earth. That's kind of the feeling that I had. So I'm actually wondering if Earth does have a bunch of tentacles around it and they're coming out of Earth itself or if it's imprisoned by these tentacles somehow. And it almost even felt like I was getting a breather by being on earth and not being among that anymore. Because even though it feels very 3D and like a grind and like a trudge and, and like a trench and trap and all of these things here on earth, we can actually breathe, right? or at least we were able to up until recently until they put the muzzles and everything over our faces. We were actually able to breathe the fresh, clean air before all the air pollution came into play too. We were able to go into the rainforest, into nature, into all of those things. And yeah, it almost felt like I was able to escape a different type of trap and take a break here, like kind of like that vacation feeling that I told you. But for those people who took longer vacations than expected, and you know, I myself am included, that's because that's, that's kind of what happened when I took my six months trip, like all of a sudden, three months in, it turned into, I don't want to call it a nightmare, but it turned into, I'm not enjoying this trip anymore. I'm not enjoying this vacation. This is more stress than worth it. This is not a vacation anymore to me. I don't want to be on this vacation anymore. So that's literally what it turned into like earth. Okay. So it felt better. You know, when you're so stressed and it's working 24 seven and stressed and you're like, okay, I'm working, working, working. Now I can finally take my vacation. So it felt like that outside of earth where it was more stressed to stay in those tentacles and in those, in that AI presence than just biting the bullet and jumping into earth and just hoping for the best possible outcome and hoping, yes, the vacation is going to turn okay. Yes, I'm going to get a breather. Yes, I'm going to be able to relax at the ocean, those kind of things. So that's kind of what it felt like to me where the first impressions that I had when landing here, literally landing, meaning on a soul level, my soul was here. And I do, I do very strongly think my soul is on earth and not elsewhere, by the way. Um, so it felt that my soul needed it. It needed a break, relaxation. And it felt good here. It almost felt like here I could even hide. Um, here I could, could take a break from all of that, all the AI around us and all of that. And yeah, it just kind of felt like that in the very beginning. And I'm sure it felt like that for a lot of us, especially the older souls, maybe even the newer souls. And that's kind of how it turned. You know, that's kind of the insight that I got that a lot of tentacles around earth, jumping into it, biting the bullet, but then landing here and it literally feeling like that break. Now, like I already told you, 
at one point the vacation goes sour, especially if you keep overextending it. Like you just want to stay for three days. Okay. I mean, it happened to me when I was in Tulum. I only wanted to stay for three days. I ended up staying for almost eight days. And at the end of those eight days, I was like, I need to get out of here. I need to see something else. Um, or the same, you know, when I was traveling for six months straight, after two months, I was like, okay, I need to either see another aspect of the country that I'm in, or I'm really, really not going to enjoy this vacation at all anymore. So it's kind of similar to that. You think you're going to stay for three days. You like it so much that you're literally like, yeah, instead of going back to what I know, I'm just going to extend it for another week or another two weeks. And then lo and behold, a month later, you're like, yeah, it's still pretty. It's still beautiful. But I kind of miss my friends. I miss my old life. I miss the comfort that I had. Um, I actually miss where I'm from. And then two more months after that, or two, 200 more years or 2 billion more years after that, whatever, you're like, wow, this turned into a nightmare. And I don't even know why I'm still here. Now I have to make a decision to book my flight back or to somehow get out of here. So that's just a comparison, an analogy for mission earth and how I think it went sour for a lot of people for sure. And then you realize that the borders are closed, meaning earth is closed. You can't get out that easily because the reincarnation cycle might very well be a million years, not a million, a billion years, or that it's going to take you all of your soul remembrance to ever get out of here again. And that you actually have to take that original team with you. You have to take those four people, those four souls, those 10 souls, whoever you came here with, with you in order to be strong and powerful together, as opposed to doing it by yourself. So that's kind of what it felt like to me, honestly. And I do think a lot of people just got lost in the vacation aspect of it. Um, now the older souls are over it. I do think we're over it. We're kind of just like, we're not enjoying this anymore. Every lifetime almost feels like the same, you know, every time. So I'm so close to remembering what I really came here for. And then boom, I die because current lifespans are 50 years, 60 years, 70 years, 80 years, 90 years. But until you are actually old enough, like maybe in your twenties or thirties or forties to actually have the confidence to question your reality and be like, hmm, maybe I'm not from here. What is the soul really? What is spirituality really? What is pseudoscience? What is science? What are all these concepts really? Are we being fooled and made fun of 24 seven? Until you actually have that consciousness, half of your life is most likely over already. And then you feel you're gonna be running out of time and all of that too. Um, plus then the other souls have to decide they're going to reincarnate with you at that time as well. And that you're going to cross paths at the time that you need to all of those things. So it gets very complicated, but it kind of makes sense when you think about it and all the instances and soul recognitions that you have with people, it makes sense. Now the old souls have been here for a very long time and it could have very well been that earth looked very different a billion years ago than it does now, that we're just jumping through different frequencies and dimensions on earth, meaning in ancient Atlantis, we could have been in 5D, 7D, 8D, all of that. And then earth looked more, more vibrant, but then womb now after ancient Avalon, we're back in 3D. For the past thousand years or so, we've been back in 3D basically. And then in addition to that, you know, you have Christianity throwing you all these traps of the kingdom on earth, or you're going to land in paradise after you die, or, and then you have the new age psyop throwing you things like, we now need to recycle each other up into 5D and all of that, you know, and all of that really does, honestly, both Christianity, religion, and the new age, all of that, what it really does is it tears souls apart. So that those who are so brainwashed that they really do want to go to paradise, they really do want to go to 5D, are being drifted further apart from the souls, from, from the rest of the souls, which we really need to stay together at this point. It is very crucial that we stay on the same frequency, the same dimension, the same, whatever you want to call it, not necessarily the same mindset, but it's very crucial that we stay together on the same vibrational level that we are on. And I already told you in a different video that, you know, what I read on depopulation in and of itself actually doesn't exist. 
Why does it not exist? Because it's just a recycling of souls. And if souls don't want to be here, they're just going to go to another version of Earth or another planet that's similar to here. And they're still going to be used for the agenda that they're used here. You know, for example, on Arcturus, you're used to actually create some metal things um, for the other beings that I mentioned already. And then, you know, all of those things. So people are afraid about the current prick. And I'll talk about that, I think, in the next video or very, very soon, because I got new fresher insight on that too but people are talking about being worried that it's going to depopulate um the population and uh yeah sure is it gonna have some people pass away absolutely sure but the soul is a consciousness right so in that sense okay you're gonna leave your earthly body behind because of the prick because also because of the disease by the way that came before the prick people have did lose their lives because of that disease but there's, I think there's more, I don't want to say more danger to the prick. You know, it's all relative how you look at it. Um, but, you know, like, like people have left because of that and they're going to leave because of the prick too. I think that's certain for people who are doing the research on the prick and all of that. I mean, you don't have these things happen for no reason, but I'll talk about that in a different video. I, I know it's a very touchy subject for a lot of you because a lot of your friends and coworkers and possibly you yourself I don't know if you watching this video are considering getting it, but you know, if your industry is requiring you to get it and you're not strong enough to push against it, you might very well be considering that or just going to the black market and, and getting a fake certificate or something. I know a lot of people are actually considering that. And I would definitely prefer you doing that over actually getting whatever they want to put in your body. But it's just my opinion. Uh, not animating you to do anything here, not animating you to go to the black market and get a fake certificate. That's not what I said at all. So please listen. <laughs> and so depopulation in and of itself did not exist. As does does not exist and did not exist because your soul cannot be depopulated. Your soul consciousness is still going to float around somewhere else. Now, whether or not you're going to have so much consciousness in your soul that you're going to be aware not to go through that tunnel of light and be reincarnated here again, or that you're actually going to float somewhere else and, and want to be somewhere else, that's in and of itself another topic, right? But, you know, that's why with the depopulation, with the pricks and, and with all of these things, with the 5D ascension trap, which it really is a 5D ascension trap, I have to say that it's a trap the same way Christianity is a trap. And all these things are a trap with all of this what they're doing is they're tearing the souls apart when it is of utmost importance right now to stay together and to stay on the same frequency on the same mind level on the same mindset like it's more crucial now than it ever was before possibly ever before so yeah let me just see if i have any more things to discuss so people are asking about, you know, are, are they turning this planet into AI? Yes, I did get yes, they are. Um, yeah, you know, depopulation doesn't really exist. So the soul is just being sent elsewhere. That's kind of how you have to imagine it. But whether or not you have the leisure to decide where it's going to be sent is going to be very much dependent upon your awareness that you even have of your soul, that you even have a soul in your body. Let's put it that way. Because some people, when I look around me, I see people who are under a spell on their phones, encapsulated in the fear, getting the pricks, all of that. These are people who are literally under a spell. So the next thing is how aware, what's the largest percentage that's actually aware of things that we're talking about right now that are actually aware that we have a lot of power, we have a soul in our body and we've been reincarnated for billions of years. Probably the, the percentage of those type of people isn't very large, okay? So, you know, the soul is just gonna be sent. If you're not aware of these concepts, I'm gonna say the possibility that you're not gonna have much decision freedom to make where your soul is going to be sent in the next lifetime is very high. Now for people who have a form of consciousness and awareness about it, like consciousness and awareness about it, you might have more freedom to decide. But at the, at the end of the day, you know, for a lot of people, the soul is just going to be sent elsewhere by these beings, by this higher consciousness 
that is trying to use us and control us and all of that. And they are trying to turn this planet soulless into, into AI. And what we're seeing right now very clearly, you know, not just over this past year, but definitely over the past 100 years, um, over the past 50 years, ever since computers came around, that was all a plan. And what they're pulling off right now, yes, it is a part of the 10 year plan, absolutely. It, I don't. I, I don't want to say I'm dreading what this might look like in 10 years, but it, it could very well be a very different reality that we're living in. We're already seeing it pulled out in China in the dynasty where they're having social credit scores, how well did you behave on public transport, you know, all of your facial recognition, all of that. They are trying to turn this planet soulless and into AI, but there's still a lot of soul on this planet. There's still a lot of love on this planet too, which is very, very crucial. So I think in the next one, I'm probably going to talk about finally the perks on everything. I also want to talk about the alien visitors and, you know, how to possibly recognize them or what's up with them, like call them the newer souls, whatever. But I think we're just going to leave it at that. You know, I do, I stand with my opinion and the reading that I got, you know, with me reading on it and like the journey that I took, that earth seems to be the key or the way out of here, out of something at least. Um, liberating the universe is gonna be a ripple effect. And I think up until ancient Avalon, up until a thousand years ago, some of us were able to reincarnate for 800 years, 900 years in one body so not just jumping from body to body in the form of body snatching like the royals are doing right now, but literally in the same body. And I think some of us souls were very well able to do that. If you're in fear, try breathing exercises is what I would suggest to you. If you have anxiety and fear, you need to start breathing. You need to do whatever, do grounding, breathing exercises, do whatever gets you out of that fear. It's really crucial and important right now. Um, there's more insight on the heart that it's not actually what we think it is, um, like the shape of the heart and everything. So yeah, a lot of juicy topics coming up. Stay tuned for it. And until then, I hope you have a wonderful day ahead. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for giving me, you know, uh, this platform, I guess. Thanks for following this platform. Thanks for us building out something together on here or on other platforms too. You know, I, I know I am on other social media platforms, but yeah, I mean, like I said, I think it is very crucial that souls kind of come together and we kind of work through this together. So until then, have a wonderful day. Bye guys.